Hello everyone. So today in this video we are going to discuss on covariant return types in Java. Okay. So topics to be discussed. What is covariant return type? What are the practical examples? Right. First we will discuss the theory part and then we'll be moving to Eclipse and we'll do coding. So this concept is related to method overriding in Java. So before JDK 1.5, it was not possible to override a method by changing the return type. Okay, so third point is when we override a parent class method, the name, argument types and the return type of the overriding method in the child class has to be exactly same as that of the parent class method. So which means is we cannot change the return type of the method which we have declared in the child class. So return type must be same as that of the parent class method in case of method overriding so that was the rule but from jdk 1.5 onwards now the new rule is we can now change uh, the return type now it is possible to have a different return type for a overriding method in the child class but child class return type should be same or it should be subtype of the parent class return type method right so we'll be moving to Eclipse and then we'll see it. Right, so I've created one class A. So in this I'm declaring one method, let's say float and m3, right? As this, the, as the return type is float, so we'll be using, we'll be returning the float value. And then we'll be creating one more class B, which is extending class A, right? So if I'm trying to change the return type, right? In M3, so this is not allowed. In Java, it is not allowed. We cannot change the return type, right? It is float and now we have changed to int, right? We cannot change the return type. From float to int, we cannot change. Right. So we'll be getting compile time error that uh, return type is incompatible. Okay. So according to the new rule, that is from JDK 1.5, now we can change the return type. So if it is A, and if I am printing something is inside A, and I'll be writing return new a because the return type is a now the subclass b which is extending a and then return type is b right and i will be giving one print statement inside b return new So you can see that we can change the return type from A to B we have changed. So this is possible because of the new concept covariant return type that came from JDK 1.5. So from JDK 1.5 we can change the return type also in child class method. Okay. So let's create one class test in which we will be declaring one main method. Okay, so I'm creating the reference of A class and the object of B class. And if I'm writing obj.m3, right? So now the output should be B class method should be executed, right? Run as Java application. So we are getting the output as inside B. Okay, so the code is working fine perfectly. Okay, so another example we can take, we can change the return type to object. Okay, object M3 and we have to return object here. Similarly, we will be changing the return type in class B, which should be the subtype of the object. So object is the super class of every class in Java we know. So we can take it as a string because a string is a subclass of the object class so we'll be using return new string here right sorry it's a string okay. 
so again in the a class i have declared the written type is object and this is the method name and inside that i am printing inside a and in the subclass everything is same just the written type is different from object to string and a string is the subclass of subclass of object class right we know that so in a class object is the written type in b class a string is the written type of the m3 method right and in b i am printing inside b as a message so i am creating one class test in which i have declared main method and from main i am creating the reference of a class and then creating the object of the b class okay so when i am calling obj.m3 it should print inside B, right? Yeah, so it's printing inside B, which is expected. Okay, so this was the rule, guys, that uh, we can change the different type of the B class or we can change the different type of the subclass method. There is no restriction that we cannot change it. Okay, and one more point is either the different type in the child class should be the subtype or it can be same also right if I am declaring here object so then also it will be fine guys it says inside okay if I am declaring here a and return new a and here also if I am declaring a and here I have to change it to we can be because B is the subtype. Now, if I'm printing run as Java application, it's saying inside B. Okay. So that's all, guys. I hope this concept is clear now. And uh, recently, I faced uh, this question in one of the interview. The uh, interviewer asked me what is covariant return type. So I explained using uh, the example. So he was uh, really impressed. Right. So that's all guys from today, thank you.